you'll notice that our new document looks odd, not least because there is a label at the top left hand side of what looks like our canvas. That is actually an artboard. So artboards came around uh, really when responsive web design was taking off so that inside of one Photoshop document, you can have the designs for a smartphone, a tablet device and a desktop. Having those designs in the same file meant you could share those assets more freely. It just so happens that it's a really great way of being able to create social media templates as well. So the first thing is we need to change the name of our artboard, which really looks like uh, a layer group. Double left click, and we'll call this post one and press return. Now this changes the name in our layers panel, but it also updates the label at the top left hand side of our artboard. Now we need to create a second artboard, which will be rather like a second page of artwork. To do that, you can either click and hold down on the move tool and then click on the artboard tool, or you can just hover your cursor over the name of the artboard and left click, and that will automatically activate the artboard tool and tools panel. And then the options across the top of the screen. So to create a second artboard, you hover your cursor over the widget. Uh, I'm going to hover over the one at the bottom in here, which is a circle with a plus inside and then left click on that. And it creates a second artboard. I'm going to hover my cursor over that name in the last panel, double left click, name that profile. And then you might notice that the measurements for this particular artboard are shown in the options bar at the top. Now these are shown in millimeters, which is no good. So to change that, we really need to go to the view menu and make sure that your rulers are turned on as mine are. There's a tick next to the name rulers. And then hover your cursor over the ruler somewhere where the numbers are, right click, and then just change the unit of measurement to pixels. And from here, we're going to change this to 400, hit the tab key and type in 400 and press return. So that matches the specifications for a Twitter profile image size. The very first art mod we made was sized correctly for an in-stream image in Twitter as well. The last thing to do then really is to save this document. So make sure you save it as a PSD in the working folder. And in the next video, we'll start to bring some artwork into this file.